Hey, what's up, Hoobians? Friends of Rude Kind here, and welcome to another episode review. And in this video, I'm going back in time and reviewing the first episode from Series 1 on Christopher Eccleston's era. This is Rose. So this story opens up uh, with this character, Rose Tyler, uh, waking up in an absolutely normal way, just like a normal person, uh, with her hair all over the place. And um, just to say, that's a great visual, just to see that this character was completely normal, just an absolutely normal human being. And it was great to see. And Rose lives in a flat or apartment uh, with her mother, Jackie Tyler, uh, played by Camille Couture. Um, Rose works at a clothing shop, and in, in her spare time, she hangs out with her boyfriend, Mickey Smith, who is played by Noel Clark. Uh, Rose is just an ordinary human living an everyday, day-to-day -day life. And at the end of one of her shifts one day, she... Uh, tries to find this head of security, I believe it is his name, I think is Wilson, and uh, to give him the, the money from the lottery that they have received. Um, but on her quest to find Wilson, all these shop window dummies start coming to life. And they start to chase her down the hallway where uh, she bumps into a complete stranger who grabs her arm and says... Run. It's at that point where I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to watch this and see how it goes. But the, the story starts at a very good pace and, and it doesn't really slow down. Um, and we, we also see in the episode several uh, classic London landmarks like the, the London taxis, the London buses, the Millennium Wheel, and a very strange yet familiar blue box sitting in the middle of a street that says police public call box on it i was very intrigued and interested in these uh shop window dummies that come to life um, but as any classic doctor who fan would know from that time these are actually called autons who are controlled by a creature called the nesting consciousness I liked it when um, the, the, the Doctor, um, who we don't know who the Doctor is yet for any new fans, um, runs away and then comes back out of the, of the door and says, um, I'm the Doctor, by the way, what's your name? And she says, Rose Tyler. And he says, nice to meet you, Rose Tyler. Run for your life. <laughs> I thought that was great. I like the way that the Doctor was signing up, or sizing up Rose, this human ape. And I particularly did like the scene where uh, the Doctor is, it's the next day, and the Doctor is um, tracing a signal of this uh, living plastic, the Autons, and it leads him to the doorstep of Rose Tyler. And uh, the scene that ensues is, is quite funny. Um, he says, uh, you're not made of plastic, are you? Nope, born head, and knocks her on the head. And... Um, I, I did like it when um, he says, what are you doing here? And Rose says, well, I live here. And then the doctor says, well, what would you do that for? I just thought that was so funny because the doctor doesn't really understand um, at this point uh, humans. I think he's a very enjoyable character, the Ninth Doctor. Um, I think it's hilarious when he breaks Jackie's table. And that's actually a running joke in case anybody missed it. And I really did like um, his speech about comparing himself to the turn of the earth. I found Rose to be a very interesting character. I thought she was very quick-witted, um, very uh, quick to get herself out of situations. And I think that um, she earns her place in the show and uh, that the title of the episode was actually justified. The way I think she earned her place in the show was um, 
where she actually defeated the nesting consciousness, um, thrown in the doctor's anti-plastic, when the doctor didn't really want to. Mickey Smith, I thought he was a very amusing character. Um, I did like the scene where he gets swallowed up by a trash can. I thought it was funny. But I also found him kind of immature, how at the end um, that he's begging Rose to stay uh, with him instead of going off with the doctor. It kind of showed that he was sort of scared um, of change. He was comfortable uh, in the life that he was living. Jackie, I found interesting character, um, Jackie Tyler. Um, we later learn that her husband, uh, Rose's dad, actually died in 1987 when Rose was just a baby. I found her to be just like any other parent, very protective of Rose. But in all, uh, enjoyable character in, in this episode. Um, I like the part where the doctors actually come in after he's asked Rose, what you, would you live here for? And um, Jackie's in her bedroom doing her hair or whatever. And um, she's starting to flirt with the doctor. And the doctor's just like, no. Nah. I just thought that was a great piece of writing and uh, a good scene. The character Clive um, is not the most forgettable of characters. But I thought he was good um, in what he provided. Uh, I, I thought found he was interesting. Um, he kind of fills in the gaps of where the Doctor had been since he re regenerated from the War Doctor into the Ninth Doctor. Um, having pictures of him on the Titanic and at JFK's assassination and stuff. And that's actually a... not a, It's kind of a throwback to the first ever episode of Doctor Who and Unearthly Child, um, which aired in 1963, but didn't really get many um, viewers because actually JFK was assassinated um, at the same time or around about the same time as the first episode of Doctor Who was going out. But I, I thought that was interesting how uh, Russell T. Davis incorporated that and um, how he gave this character Clive a purpose. And I liked the end of it um, where the Doctor um, comes and invites Rose to come aboard his ship, which she has already seen on the inside. Um, I forgot to mention this. Um, the the scene where she sees it inside of the, tar the TARDIS for the first time um, and then runs away, I thought that was great. And then we, we don't get to see inside yet until she goes in for the second time. I thought that was great. But the scene at the end where the Doctor invites Rose to, 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 to join him in the TARDIS, um, that was a really, really great scene. Um, first of all, she says no. Then he, he goes away and comes back and says, oh, did I mention it travels in time? And that smile from Billy, from, from Rose Tyler, that is just the one of the best smiles I've ever, ever seen. Then she goes running in. I thought that was a great, great scene. But all in all, this episode is very enjoyable. Um, real easy to get into if, if you haven't watched Doctor Who before. Um, I'd recommend if, if you haven't watched any Doctor Who episodes um, and you're interested in getting getting into it, uh, th this episode would be the first one that you watch. But yeah, enjoyable episode, good characters, every character had a purpose. Um, I'll give this episode a 7 out of 10. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, thank you for watching. And as always, guys, like and subscribe if you want to hear more from me.